Hello class! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is just a continuation ng ating previous video about solving a linear programming problem. So let's have example number 2. Find the maximum value of z equals 3x plus 2y subject to the following constraints. x plus 2y less than or equal to 4. x minus y less than or equal to 1 x greater than or equal to 0, and y is greater than or equal to 0. So, ang first step natin dito is we need to graph this linear or this system of linear inequalities. So, unahin natin si x plus 2y less than or equal to 4. So, ang first step natin dito, again, is we need to find the x and y intercept para madali natin siyang ma-graph doon sa ating Cartesian plane. So, to find the x-intercept, uh, we let y equal to 0. So, that is x plus 2 times 0 equals 4. So, ang ating x-intercept is equal to 4, 0. Okay? The next, to find the y-intercept, uh, we need to let um, x equal to 0. So, that is... Um, 0 plus 2y equals 4. So, we have 2y equals 4. Then, divide both sides of the equation by 2. So, ang ating y-intercept is equal to 0, 2. Okay? So, pwede na natin i-graph yan. So, ang ating x-intercept is 4. Then, ang ating y-intercept is 2. So, plot natin yan sa ating Cartesian plane. So, that is 4, 0. Dito yan sa may right side ng ating x-axis. Then, yung y-intercept is 0, 2. So, nandito yan sa may bandang taas ng ating x-axis. So, pag kinanek natin yung uh, 2 dot, so, since may equal yung ating inequality, so, ang gagamitin natin is yung solid line. So, that is... Ito. Okay? So, ngayon, ito yung ating line ng ating inequalities. Then, isi-shade natin yung half lanes. So, again, gagamit tayo ng test point para makuha natin yung shaded region. So, ang test point natin dito, gamitin natin is si zero or si origin. Okay, so using the test point na yung origin. So, we have um, x which is zero plus two times zero yung y. Less than or equal to 4. So, we have 0 less than or equal to 4. So, as you can see, we have a true statement. Since 0 is less than 4. Okay? So, kung true, yung ating line sa ating origin, meaning, yung ating line, ang half lanes niya is going to the origin. Okay? So, tandaan yan. So, this will be the graph of x plus 2y less than or equal to 4. Next is, igagraph naman natin yung second inequality natin, which is x minus y is less than or equal to 1. Okay, so applying the same procedure, kukunin natin si x-intercept. So, para makuha si x-intercept, we let y equal to 0. So, that is x minus 0 equals 1. So, ang ating x-intercept is 1, comma, 0. Okay? Next, we need to find the y-intercept by letting x equal to 0. So, that is 0 minus y equals 1. So, that is negative y equals 1. So, divide both sides by negative 1. So, ang y natin is equal to negative 1. So, ang ating y-intercept is 0, negative 1. Okay? So, try natin siyang i-graph ngayon sa ating Cartesian plane. So, we have x-intercept 1. Ang ating x-intercept is equal to 1. So, nandito yan. Then, we have the y-intercept which is negative 1. So, ito yung ating y-intercept na negative 1. So, pag kinonek natin yung two, two points natin, we have this line. <clears throat> okay. 
Ayan. So, since may equal yung ating inequality, so, ang gagamitin natin is solid line. So, ito yung line ng ating x minus 1 less than or equal to 1. So, ngayon, hanapin natin yung kanyang half planes. Gagamit tayo ng test points. Again, pinakamadaling test point natin dito is yung um, origin. Okay? So, test point tayo. So, ang test point natin is 0, 0. So, ilalagay natin siya dun sa kanyang inequality. So, 0 minus y which is 0 is less than or equal to 1. So, 0 less than 1 is a true statement. Okay? So, kung nag-true yung ating inequality sa origin, meaning, yung ating half planes is going to the origin. Ito yung ating half planes. Okay? So, next is yung ating third inequality which is x greater than or equal to 0. Ito. So, dito, uh, isa lang yung variable natin which is x. So, automatic, ang graph nyan is a vertical line. Okay? Then, pagka y naman ang given, kagaya nyo sa may fourth um, inequality natin, ang graph nyan is horizontal. So, tandaan nyan na. So, unahin natin si x greater than 0. So, since uh, x lang yan, so that is a vertical line, then nakatapat siya kay 0. Okay? So, ito yung ating graph nyan. Yan. Then, since uh, greater than yung ating uh, inequality, so that is going to the right. Ito ngayon yung graph ng ating um, x greater than or equal to 0. Next is yung y greater than or equal to 0. So, that is a horizontal line. So, kung 0 yung ating uh, value sa right side, nakatapat yung ating horizontal line sa 0 din. So, kung i-graph natin yan, nandito natin siya makikita. Okay? So, ito yung ating um, y greater than or equal to 0. So, greater than, so that is upward. Tandaan yan. So, kung makapansin nyo dito guys, uh, medyo maliit yung ating feasible solution dito. Okay? So, kung makapansin nyo, nag-overlap yung ating graph dito lang sa may ating itong part na to. Yan. Okay? So, itong part na to, siya yung ating magiging um, feasible solutions. Meaning, so, lahat ng value sa loob ng ating feasible solutions will satisfy our system or yung ating constraints. Okay? So, to find the maximum and the minimum value ng ating objective function, kukunin naman natin yung mga vertices ng ating feasible solutions. So, in our case, uh, we have four uh, vertices. So, ang first vertex natin is nandito. Ito yung ating point A na lang. Then, ang second vertex natin is nandito. Then, ang third vertex natin is itong sa may bandang baba rin. Then, yung ating fourth vertex is yung intersection ni green and black na graph natin. Okay? Then, as you can see guys, yung ating point A is ang coordinate, ang coordinate niya is yung y-intercept nung ating x plus 2y less than or equal to 4 which is uh, 0, 2 then ang b naman natin ang coordinate ng b is yung ating origin then yung sa may c is yung x-intercept nung ating green na line which is yung galing kay x minus y less than or equal to 1 so ang x-intercept nya is 1, 0 then, si D naman is yung point of intersection ni green and ni black. Then, kung makapansin nyo, ang coordinate ng ating point D is 2 yung nakatapat sa x-axis. Then, nakatapat siya sa y-axis na 1. So, ang ating point D is 2, 1. Okay? Then, after natin ma-identify ngayon yung ating mga point of intersection, gagawa na tayo ngayon ng ating uh, table para makuha yung maximum value ng ating objective function. 
So, isa-isahin natin. So, ang ating point A is si 0, 2. Ang ating point B is yung origin. Then, ang ating point C ay 1, 0. Then, si D ay C, 2, 1. Ito yung ating mga vertices. Then, kukunin natin ngayon si objective function. So, ang objective function natin is z equals 3x plus 2y. Okay, so z equals 3x plus 2y. Then, isasolve natin yan. Then, may makukuha tayo ngayon value. Okay, so try natin isubstitute. So, we have z equals 3x. So, ang x natin is 0 plus 2 times y, which is 2, yung ating y, base k point A. So, ang value natin dito is makakancel yan. So, ang value natin is 4. Next, k point B tayo. So, z equals 3 times x, which is 0, plus 2y. Again, yung y is 0. So, makakancel yan. So, k point B, ang value natin is 0. Point C. So, 1, 0. So, that is 3 times 1 plus 2 times 0. So, that is, so, makakancel yung 2 times 0 natin. So, ang value natin dito is 3. Kay D naman, we have 2, 1. So, 3 times 2 plus 2y, which is yung y natin is equal to 1. So, meron tayo ditong 6 plus 2. So, ang value natin kay point D is equal to 8. Okay? So, therefore, ang ating maximum value is equal to 8 at point, sa natin nakuha yung ating maximum value at point 2, 1. Okay? So, this will be now our final answer. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye!